So what you're watching is coming out of the ID bus, the Ida bus, here in France, on our way to the UK, to London to be exact. You take the train on the channel and you go under with other buses and other cars. It takes about 30 minutes and then you come out the other side and exit. It's uh, pretty convenient. There's a stop rest um, for the border control before you get on the train and afterwards you just go on. I've taken the bus to London now twice and it's not so bad. The worst ones are the ones that run all night long because they take much longer than you'd ever expect. Our first mandatory stop is always Forbidden Planet. I love this place. Everybody loves this place. I don't think you can go to London without going to Forbidden Planet. It's just wrong. And on this day, very specially, Matt Jones was there. I did a couple videos for him before and he happened to be there doing a signing on the exact day I was there. So I was able to get him to uh, sign a few things for me. I got his book, The Plastic Surgery, that you can see on the table, which is awesome and super well written. I'll put a link to it in the description. And then I also bought the uh, ZX tees, which I hadn't had before, but they had them on sale actually. So he signed that as well and drew a little picture in the book and it was just awesome to get to meet him in person. It was destiny, I guess. Now, this is a garden near Forbidden Planet. It is really nice and really overgrown. Basically, it's not a funded garden. It's like a labor of love, it seems. But uh, it's a really nice place to sit down because if you've ever been to London, or it feels like most of the UK, it is really hard to find a place to sit down ever. There just are like no benches and it's so hard to just take a rest for a minute. You end up having to buy something at a store just so you can sit down and then you have to pay to sit down as well. I really hate that, but I guess it's money wise. So this is just a little garden. It goes back further, but it was just a nice little escape when things get really busy or you get really tired and you just need some place to sit down. This is just more of London. We've done London several times, so we really just were wandering around for, for hours, honestly. Um, we like walking around places we've never been before and seeing areas that more of the locals go to. This is actually Chancery. Um, for my webcomic that I'm still working on, I just wanted to go there and get some reference of the actual area where I'm basing the comic book out of. Um, so that's what this little square is so that I can come back and reference it more directly. Here we are in York now visiting some friends. Uh, this is a guy who was out, well, trying to get some attention, I guess. I didn't stay to listen to what he was saying. This is just walking around York. It's a great little city. You can see the Minster back there, which I'll show you in a minute. But again, we've been there before for our friend's wedding, but we wanted to come back and see it again and just uh, have some fun. We did a, a treasure, well, not a treasure, it's a, they lock you in a room uh, and then you have to try and get out. So that was really fun. That's the group here walking around by me. Uh, we went and did that and got out in plenty of time. I'll put a link to the company we used there in York if you're interested in trying it out. It was a lot of fun and I would definitely do one again. We got out and got out in time too, so we did it within the hour. We this is more of York on a separate day. We were going around with our friend Daisy. Uh, this is just the sort of the scenery, the way the town looks. There is a um, wall that circles York and it's still there. And here we go, the Minster up close and personal. So here we are inside. 
Uh, we did a little tour with a tour guide, a free tour there at the Minster, which I would highly recommend if you were going to go. Our guy was awesome. He knew everything about everything. And yeah, it was really fun. just some of the silly things you can see at the Minster and some of the other interesting bits that I found. I just wanted to film nothing in particular or to explain about them, but I just thought they looked beautiful. I wish I could explain the Minster better. Uh, I don't remember everything that was told to me during the uh, guided tour, but it really is quite a piece of history. It seems so much happened there that, especially as an American, I would not have realized or understood at all. But it really is a place of interest and I think much better than any of the cathedrals here in Paris even. It is just immaculately kept, it is beautiful, it is clean, it is white, it, it really is beautiful. This is a little domed thing where they're showing some of the preservation they're doing for the stained glass. Uh, I didn't get the before and afters, but I got more close-ups of the after. Uh, a lot of the detail that you can see there had weathered with time and basically things just looked like like blobs. You couldn't make out the design, um, I think etched onto the glass and then filled in with an ink, I believe, but I'm not sure. I am not a historian by any means, but it's impressive what they're doing there. I can't tell I like stained glass. I think this video definitely makes it pretty obvious. that there is the heart of York. And these are semaphore uh, sculptures that were put in more recently. Uh, I believe he said that it said Christ is here. And then after they had been removed for filming, someone had put up Chris uh, was there instead. <laughs> and when they realized they had to get them rearranged uh, properly again. Uh, those stained glass are interesting because they basically are advertisements. I didn't realize so much in churches back then were not necessarily church ordered, um, that people who had money could buy and insert most of what they wanted, um, which <laughs> seems pretty wrong, but that seems to be the way things are now even. So definitely churches were not um, safe from being corrupted, I guess you could say. This area here is basically a, uh, a feat of magic keeping it up. They say that they have no idea, understanding of why it works, but it stays up. And even if they were to make it today, that don't think the architects could do it. Here I'm on Old Chambles Street, um, which is, I guess, pretty famous in New York. Uh, as a tourist, we were told we had to go here, so we went there. It's cute. Nice little road, 
uh, with sh shops making it feel like old time York. You can see how some of the places even move into the street like that. It feels very Harry Potter on the street. New York is also the chocolate center of the UK, it seems, as we were told. But the funniest thing I found was this marshmallow sandwich. You have no idea how much I really thought I would go in and buy it, but then I didn't. Here we are waiting for our train to head up to Glasgow, Scotland. We are visiting our friends up there as well. And stay tuned for our, my next video. It will be more focused for the rest of the trip on Scotland and so much of the beauty that is up there. So please subscribe and don't miss the video or just leap around and see what I've made on my other videos. And thanks for watching.